Okay guys, this is a short video just to show you a watch phone. This is the, uh, uh, the TW818. I bought this from China. It was sent across to England. I've been very, very pleased with it. Um, it has a USB slot on the side here. Little door that opens. Um, it's mini USB. You get a, in the kit, you get a uh, charger. I'll show you a little wall charger here. Comes with this uh, European plug mini uh, USB or micro USB, I'm not too sure which one it is, it's very small and you get a spare battery in the kit as well, very very nicely packaged, lovely box, uh, I've come away and worked on the board now so I haven't got the box with me but it's absolutely beautiful, uh, very very nice watch, um, uh, very good quality, um, the band is very comfortable, the watch isn't too heavy, I thought it was going to be very very heavy actually, it's not um, as heavy as I thought it was, I like heavy watches but I'm actually very pleased with it, it's very very comfortable to wear all day. Um, on the side here there is a stylus in here which you can pull out and operate the phone. It comes out in three sections. Let me pull that back in again into there. You actually don't need the stylus to operate the phone. I was trying to look for a phone that you didn't need to have the stylus and this is it. It actually works very very well indeed. On the wrist, just stir it up, it's got a very nice clasp, very secure. And rugged, I've got very small wrists and I've taken two links out of this watch strap. So this watch does not look big on your wrist. So if I try and stay out of the way, you might get a better view of it. Now I can turn it around. But it isn't a big, bulbous, bulky thing. Everybody who's seen it thinks it looks really stylish, smart, fashionable, uh, very modern. Uh, it, it doesn't look like a normal, big, chunky watch phone. Um, it's camera built into it here, 1.3 megapixel uh, camera. Um, uh, two buttons. I would have preferred the buttons to have been on this side, actually, because I'm right-handed. Uh, purely because the, there's no display on here, you just touch the, one of the buttons to liven the display up for the uh, uh, for the watch. And if you've got a, a jumper on, I would prefer to have had the button here so I could press it, roll my jumper up, lift it, lift it down, put it back again. But that's just a minor thing. But the buttons work very well. This what button here switches the phone on and off. You just press and hold it, or returns back to the main menu. And this one does other functions. When you're in a in a menu, you can uh, operate the watch with there as well. Um, on here, you've got a microphone. And on here, you've got these speakers built into the wristband. Actually, pretty good. The audio is not bad at all. Um, driving the car, if you receive a call, you just simply press this button twice, okay, and uh, you answer the call uh, straight away. Um, when you're driving, with your hands on the steering wheel, you can hear perfectly. Uh, people can hear you when you're changing gear or what have you. We have no issues uh, with dropouts or anything like that. It works very well. Uh, when you get over about 70 miles an hour, you know, sort of on the motorway, then, yeah, you, you, you will you do get a bit of noise um, and it's a bit hard to hear the speaker so it's, it's better just put your hand up towards your towards your back of your neck or what have you and you can actually talk and uh, listen okay two ways yeah well several ways of using the phone but uh use the hands free as we do there or i use my little i use my samsung bluetooth um headset uh, headset keeps in the pocket all the time i leave it switched off and what i do is when i switch it on like this if somebody calls me and i want to be have a bit of privacy i just switch that on and instantly the phone's connected. Now the Bluetooth on this phone is absolutely brilliant. Anything I've connected to it connects instantly, uh, like it just connected down in within about two or three seconds. Um, there's no messing around, it just connects up. If somebody calls you and you're talking to them on the phone uh, like this, hands-free, if uh, you want a bit of privacy, I just switch this on and it automatically changes across and it's, it's just virtually instant. It's actually very, very good. Very impressed with it indeed. The other thing I use as well is I use my I got my little BT, was it 3030, my Jabra uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, stereo uh, headphone adapter here. So I plug my headphones into this and when I'm in the gym I listen to this here without the cables going to my pocket. This works perfectly as well. Again, Bluetooth again, just switch it on and it, and it connects straight away. Uh, this, one, this one works, uh, all the functions, except for the fast forward and the fast rewind. But the volume works. Uh, you can receive calls, just press the button and you talk on it. Uh, it all works seamlessly. Uh, you can pause uh, your music and start it again on here and just you can change tracks back and forwards. So everything seems to work on that except for the fast forward and fast rewind when you're inside a, when you're on a, a playing track. Uh, right, going back to the phone now, it's a bit hard for me to get in here because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sort of uh, using my mobile phone to record this. But uh, if I, if you press any of the buttons, the screen, the time comes on. Touch the screen, you go straight into the main menu. I'll bring it up just so you can probably see some of the uh, clarity of the screen. The screen is very clear; it's beautiful. Um, now it can be hard for me to operate, but I, I, 
I have no issues using the, using this phone with the touch screen. It's beautiful. It's one of the best ones uh, that I've seen around. It's um, uh, one of the largest ones as well. They they say 1.5 inch, or and some websites say 1.6 inch, but I think it's at 1.5 inch. Um, you've got your phone book, you've got your messages. So if you want to go to your messages, you've got your inbox there. Um, if you want to write a message, uh, just touch the top of the screen. It's hard for me to operate like this, but uh, normally it works very well indeed. Um, I just I've got fat fingers and I've got no fingernails, so um, I find it uh, quite good to uh, operate. So if I go like say uh, type something like hi there. Okay, hi there. You can see that's gone in and no problem at all. Okay, the the, the screen somehow it uh, it works very well with your fingers. It, although everything's very close and tight together, it works very well indeed. So, like I say, I use my fingers for everything, for all the functions, text messages, uh, typing phone numbers in, whatever. And I don't have an issue. Okay, I'm just gonna. You can clear those uh, letter back if you want to. It's got predictive text on it. It's got normal text where you tap through, and also it's got um, handwriting recognition. So if you uh, touch the screen, it, uh, it it changes the screen to uh, uh, to a touch sensitive screen as well. But I found you can only do one letter at a time, so it could be time consuming. But if you are uh, if you're into that uh, handwriting, that's good as well. Okay, uh, we can go. Hit, you can then hit options, and you can either send it. Uh, to, uh, the, the camera's not picking up all the highlighted stuff, unfortunately, so I'll just move through. I'll scroll through some of the settings. Send to, uh, you've got um, input methods, so you can change how you want to use the, uh, the texting. So you can use smart, small ABC, or you've got smart. If I bring it down here, you'll see the top one was smart, large ABC capitals. Um, you've got normal ABC, where you tap the, uh, the letters continuously. And then you've got handwriting, etc. But you set how you want it to fold it. And then while you're typing a letter, you can change it any time by touching this middle bottom button. You just touch that and you change on through the settings. So it works very, very well, very intuitive. Very pleased with that. And again, if I hit this button here, the top one, I'll go back into the main screen. Uh, now, the, the phone holds, uh, it can take a, um, uh, a micro um, uh, SD card and it goes up to 16 gigabytes, which is incredible. Uh, now, they call the cards in Japan or China, I think they're called T-Flash, which I think is a trans-flash card. But they're the same as our SD cards, our mini SDs, or micro SDs, should I say. And I'm using an SDHC, that's a high-capacity Samsung uh, card in there, and it's 24 uh, uh, megabytes a second. And that was about £22 I paid for that. And that works fine in this phone. Uh, now, you can connect the phone via your USB the USB cable came with the charger. You just unplug it here. Okay, you can plug this straight into your computer. Okay, you plug the other end into your phone, and then you can just talk to it like it's a uh, uh, just another mass storage device. Uh, you can Bluetooth to it as well, so that's no issue. Uh, the phone also um, has uh, other uh, other than just telephone system. It's got um, a WAP and a GPRS as well. Now. When it came, it was all defaulted to the Chinese system. It took me a little while going through Google to work out all the settings for it. Now, my provider is O2. They couldn't help me with any of the settings. So I just Googled it, and uh, yeah, I got all the settings there. I put it in. It does work. Um, it is a little bit slow, but the web pages are surprisingly um, okay to read. So if you go into your Hotmail, you can, in fact, get in there. You can type in your username, passwords, and stuff like that. But it is very slow, just sort of like for emergency use if you need it to. Okay, um, So that's that. Uh, the, uh, the phone can um, uh, hold phone contacts, uh, about 500 phone contacts it can hold in the phone itself. The SIM card that you put in, obviously, is, I think normal SIMs are 200 contacts and I think that the micro ones now hold 250. Um, this has now, at the moment when we're using this now, this has got a micro SIM in it. it, it the phone is is, uh, is set up to hold a normal size uh, SIM card but my card that I've got with my new phone is a micro one so I've just put the little adapter in there, uh, cut my uh, SIM card down and it fits in here and it all works perfectly so you can use both okay which is great news. Um, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, audio player plays um, MP3s, uh, uh, and I've got probably about 700 and something other songs on here. They all play fine. They play through my Bluetooth headset, like I said. Uh, the phone does come with a little pair of headphones as well, but that have a USB connector on them because there's no 3.5 millimeter connector on the phone. 
but you, you can plug the headphones in that came with it. But I haven't listened to them, to be honest, okay? I just use Clues and the Bluetooth um, uh, adapter. Now, with the Bluetooth, that's interesting. Now, when you play your, your audio, I found a little problem, which I resolved. Okay, so if I go to menu here, okay, I try and get it closer so you can actually see the clarity of the screen. The screen is beautiful. It doesn't show up on the, on the, uh, on the phone here. But we go to multimedia at the top there, and I go to audio player there. Now, I'll start to play a, uh, a tune. It'll just take a little while to load up. When, when you're in the audio, when you start playing, it is instant when you go through the, your, your tracks and things. But just when you first go into it the first time, it just takes a, a few seconds just to find the track and then just to start to play it. Okay, so we'll play it now. Don't worry, I've got no sound at the moment. Oh, okay, I think it's, oh, it's logged onto my uh, Bluetooth headset. Unfortunately, it's playing through my earpiece. <laughs> That's what it's doing. If I switch this off, there we go. Instant. That switched off and it instantly came back through the watch. Okay, so there's my. Okay, there's my uh, music playing on there. Um, I'll go back. Okay, so I can alter the volume on here. Can turn them down. Can turn them up. I mean, it's not bad. It's okay, but uh, the clarity through the headphones is excellent. Um, but if you're playing Bluetooth, there's a little quirk with the phone, okay? And I, when I first did it, I was gutted because the music was, was just mono. Now what you do is you go, you don't go into your Bluetooth settings, you go into the audio settings, you go to options, and then you come down here, okay, just scroll down, and we go to settings, and then on here, there's Bluetooth settings, you can probably just see it there, Bluetooth settings. And on here, you've got BT stereo output and that has to be defaulted to on now it was default to off okay now when i put it on now it's fine and it all stays there and everything plays in stereo but if you're um if you're re uh, receiving a call now say you're playing your music now through your bluetooth if somebody calls you everything works you press your button on your on your remote bluetooth um, head, headset device and then you just take the call now when you end the call if you end it from your bluetooth device this will go back to mono because it tries to default back to your little Bluetooth uh, earpiece and not to your stereo headphone system. So if you do end it on your Bluetooth little adapter here, then you'll have to go back into here and put it back to stereo. But if you end the call on the button here on the watch, it all stays a stereo. Just a little quirk because... Uh, I've been messing with the watch and just found these things out. So there we go. So there's my little Bluetooth uh, adapter. There might be my Jabra BT3030, which is an excellent piece of kit. About three years old now. Works fantastically and long battery life and everything on it. Uh, the Samsung one here, my little Bluetooth thingy here, by the way, this is a Samsung uh, um, uh, Bluetooth headset. And this one lasts about two weeks in standby. And it's got something like about 11 hours of talk time or something. It's absolutely incredible. And because I switch it off, I just never charge it. Now, all my devices here, they all use the same, uh, is it the micro USB or the mini USB? I can never remember what, which one this one is, but they all use this. So I just use one charger for everything. And it even charges up my uh, the phone that I'm, that I'm uh, videoing this on as well. Okay, so there we go. So that's the audio. The audio is very, very good. And as you can see, I've got 718 songs on there. Okay, yeah, something like that. Now, a little quirk as well. If you want to add songs into this now, I've done this. I've plugged it into the computer. I brought this up as a drive and I've dropped my audio into this audio player, but I can't seem to find them. And what, I, what I've had to do is I've had to now just um, add music to my file on my computer. And then what I do is I wipe this and then put it back in again and then it's all there. I don't know why, or it could be that I have to just put it into another playlist. I haven't worked that out yet. But anyway, everything's there and it all plays and the, and the sound quality is very, very good. Okay, you've also got um, video player on here. Okay, so... Uh, there's a couple of videos on there. They were just a, 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 took a couple of little test ones on there. No, nothing brilliant. They're not going to show up on here very well anyway. But it works okay. Um, and there's your, um, this is your video camera. Okay. So there's your video camera there. It's got loads of settings on it. You can alter the picture quality, uh, the size of the picture. Uh, you can alter the exposure compensation. Uh, there's some colour settings there as well you can do, some scene modes. There's all sorts of things on it, which is incredible for a phone like this. It really is amazing. And you can alter them on screen, or you can come back into the menu here, and then you can alter things in here. I'll just bring it up so you can see some of the writing if the camera will focus. 
white balance effect setting, video settings. I mean, it's absolutely staggering. Uh, the, uh, like I say, the screen is very, very good on this. The menus are beautiful. Uh, full rich color on there. I mean, it really is just a credit to these people. Um, and I think it, this is the iPad Nano, uh, the, yeah, sorry, the iPod Nano um, uh, screen that they used on this. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I've, I've read somewhere. Okay, um, uh, images. Now, you've got images, you've got your, your uh, pictures on here as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't show a little thumbnail on there. I don't know why. Maybe there's a setting that I haven't set up on there. But what we'll do, we'll just click one of those, and it just says, do you want to view this? Yes, I do. Okay, there we go. And on here, it's pretty good. Picture of my dad on his uh, steam train. Okay, and then it, we, what we do, we scroll through. Okay, so you can scroll through like you would do on your mobile phone or what have you. Okay, not very good pictures. Okay, these these are just some of my model engines. Go back again here. Okay, there. Now we can turn the picture around if you want. You can press the button. You can come around to this way, so it's slightly larger. Uh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good to be honest for a small phone like this. And then you can zoom in as well. So you can press the plus button. Okay, and you press again. Okay. Oh, I I went to the side, I just missed the plus button, I can't see properly. There we go. So you can do that, and then you can move around the picture as well if you want to, okay? It's, it, it, it does in quite a bit. I'm not going to stay here for ages to another. Right, I'll just come back to the main screen again. The beginning, okay, go back into the menu. Okay, what else we've got on here? You've got your phone book. Oh, yeah, come out of that, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just go in and make a phone call, because that's what your phone's for. Okay, there's your phone there. It's got a lovely screen on there. And it's very good as well, again, with your fingers. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, zero. Now, I'm, now I'm bent over a, I'm bent right over my bag here trying to film this. And, uh, you know, you, you can see it's actually very easy to use with your thing, with my big stumbly fingers. Obviously, with the, uh, with the uh, little stylus, it's even easier. But uh, I wanted something that I could use with just my fingers without uh, making a mess. There we go. So you can just see how good that is. There we are. Go back to the menu again. Get some options there. Menu. What else is in here? Uh, we've got uh, organizer. Okay, so on there you've got a calculator. Okay, there's a calculator there. Calendar. Okay, calendar hours. There's your calendar. Okay, scroll through. You've got options there. You can put in uh, notes and uh, events and things like this. Okay, set up alarms. So you could use it just virtually like your, your PDA or your, your mobile. It's very good indeed. You've got alarms. You've got five alarms you can set up on this okay, per day. Very good. Uh, Oh, this is just telling you how much memory I've used on the phone. Your memory card, um, tasks, okay, nothing in there, I've not put anything in there yet. You can read ebooks as well, apparently. I haven't ever done that myself, but you can read ebooks on there. And then you've got your Java there as well, so you can download apps and things like this on there. I haven't done that yet. Um, I don't, I'm not really into the apps and stuff, but this, this has got, got just about what I want on it. So, uh, uh, that's that. Uh, there's your Bluetooth there. Uh, you can't read the top. If I move it down, you'll read. There you go. Power. Okay, so you can have your power on or off. And again, everything's very good. You can either touch it and you can make adjustments there, or at the bottom it usually gives you options as well. Like here it says off. So you can switch it off there or on. Or you can go into the actual system on the phone and do it. Just try and get in the focus point. There we go. Visibility, my device. Yeah, there's my devices there. And like I say, they connect virtually instantly. Even during a call, you can switch the Bluetooth headset on and off, and it will just transfer from the phone back to the Bluetooth headset without any any problems at all. It really is superb. It's one of the best Bluetooth devices I've actually used. It's been very, very good. Uh, you've got your profiles as well. You've got your user profiles, so you can set up your ringtones and things like this. You've got general meeting. You've got outdoor, uh, indoor. You've got headset uh, settings as well. Okay, uh, I've just got my general on there. You can have the phone to ring, uh, or just, you know, just ring. You can have it to ring and vibrate. You can have it to uh, do an ascending ring. 
you can have it to uh, vibrate first and then do an ascending ring. There's all loads of options on it. It's fantastic. And I, I just have it so it vibrates first and so I don't annoy anybody. And then it uh, 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 gradually ascends up in the, uh, uh, with the, uh, the incoming uh, tune that I've set there. Now, you can, you, there's loads of preset ones in here. They're all just typical sort of, uh, you know, uh, these electronic sort of like ting, ting, ting sort of noises. Uh, but you can set any um, uh, anything you want on there. So I've got some of my songs on there to uh, do the ring uh, and the notification noises. Uh, one thing you can't change is the alarm, uh, sorry, the uh, messages. If you get a message coming in, you can't set anything else up on that. I haven't found a way of doing that. There's about five selections there of ones that they've preloaded. So I've just been using that, but that's not a good try. So all in all, I mean, I'm very, very pleased with the watch. I mean, why would anybody buy one of these? Well, I have to have two watches, I have to have two phones when I come back to work. So um, I use the, the phone that I'm using at the moment, the uh, HTC One S. And um, so that's my company one. And then when I, I have my personal um, uh, chip in one of these. So I always carry a watch on my wrist. So I've got a watch and a phone. So I don't have to carry two phones around with me. Um, have I been impressed with it? Yes, I have been very impressed with it. I mean, it's, it's very functional. Uh, the sound quality is pretty good. It's actually very good, to be honest. Um, um, hands free, it's really good. If you drive along in your car and you get a call or what have you, um, then yeah, I mean, you can answer it and you, you know, you're not doing anybody any harm. You're driving along with your hands on the steering wheel and you're talking. I mean, it's, you, you can't ask for any more than that. Uh, it comes with the stylus, which it doesn't, it doesn't say it in the adverts actually. Um, and this phone is round about, uh, I think, about 80 pounds, something like that, uh, including shipping. So, I mean, that's for what you get, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, battery life, uh, they say about a day, uh, well, they, sorry, tell you, they say about three days, two to three days, I think it is. Um, I use it for about a day, and I use it a lot. And at the end of the day, I've probably got about two bars of battery life left. I just plug him in and uh, just charge him up, and yeah, off we go again. The uh, 12, My 12 volt uh, charger for my HTC phones and my Bluetooth headphones and everything, they charge this as well, no problem at all. So, um, yeah, so we're all we're all uh, good to go with all the um, accessories and everything as well. So it's a very functional watch. It really looks nice. It's very, very comfortable to wear. One thing I would have liked was, like I say, these, these buttons to have been on the other side. And I would have loved to have had um, uh, the date on here as well. So w when you first fire up the, uh, the, the clock screen, there's a little box at the 3 o'clock uh, number position here. And it looks like maybe they, they were going to put the date in there like a classic watch, but there's no date there, which is a shame. But you just touch it and you've got the date there anyway, um, which you can see, which I'll just bring first look at uh, the chart. And on the top, you've got your notifications. Um, signal strength as well, that's an important thing. Now, what I found is that this watch has got, um, it receives telephone calls and that in, in bad sort of blank areas. My, my, my dad's house is, is a particularly bad area. The, my All my HTC phones, including the One S now, they struggle at my father's house. I mean, they really do. Uh, this is about the, about the same, maybe slightly better. I have received uh, calls and texts where I'm sure that my HTC wouldn't have. So it's very good. I also read a report somewhere. They said that if you take it off your wrist, that it uh, actually the uh, signal is slightly better. How true that is, I don't know. But uh, with it on my wrist, I don't really have any issues. Uh, one thing that's a bit fiddly is the back. The back of the phone um, is a screw on. Uh, screw on back, I'm not going to take it off, um, but uh, there's not really much grip on these things and what I found is if you get one of these rubber gloves, uh, you know, these little disposable, very thin ones, stick them on, it makes the job so much easier, it really does, but uh, it's still a little bit fiddly, I think I've probably got like a Friday afternoon one with a bit of a, a weird thread on it, but um, other than that, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I only change the chip once a month and uh, you know, change it over and... Uh, I'm good to go. The battery I have never changed. It's the same battery that's in here. And it's getting better and better and better, the battery, as I've been using the phone. So, like, like, all, uh, like all batteries. So, uh, yeah, very good. Anyway, there we go. So that's just a little overview on the, um, on the watch phone. Um, like I say, very functional. Um, text messaging is very good. Predictive text is good. We've got loads of storage for phone numbers, 500 phone numbers you can store in there, plus you can get 200 or 250 onto the other side as well. So that should, that should see you through. Uh, Bluetooth is excellent. Sound quality is very good. Um, I've played some 3GP videos um, on it from uh, my previous phones and stuff, and that works fine. And uh, yeah, it's good. 
uh, you know, for, for what it is, is it, it, it's quite a good sort of uh, quality. Um, can you get on the internet? Yes, you can. It's a little bit slow, like I say. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's what it is. You know? Okay, well, um, I hope that's giving you a little insight into it all. Um, uh, oh, yeah, pictures. If you put pictures on it, photos onto here, uh, you can use any of your photos. I'm using some 20 megapixel photos, and I downsize them to 1024 by 768, and the phone can take that. It can, it can read them, no problem. If you go any higher resolution than that, it can't read them sometimes. So I stick to 1024 by 768. Uh, but when you take a picture with the actual camera built in the, in the phone itself, which is this one here just at the top, uh, then the highest resolution you can go there is 1280 by 1040. Uh, you can also change um, your wallpapers, your screen savers, all that kind of stuff as well. But uh, again, you have to have a low resolution and all that kind of thing. Anyway, okay, hope that uh, just shows you a sort of like a functional uh, functionality of one of these uh, watch phones. And, and uh, yeah, there we go. Maybe you can't get one. Cheers.